Thank you so much for taking the time to be with me today, Doctor. My pleasure. So you're here on behalf of Sahel Oncology. Can you tell me exactly what that is? Sahel Oncology is a pharmaceutical company dedicated to perform research on novel oncology products. Okay, fantastic. What is Sahel's mission and goals? Uh, changing the paradigm in clinical oncology based on translational research focused on least toxic and most effective treatments. Sound fantastic. What assets does Sahel Oncology have? Intellectual properties as well as extensive data. Uh, we, as we speak, have more than 34 patent applications. 17 of them have been approved in the U.S. as well as Europe and other countries. Uh, these uh, applications have been uh, approved based on the merits and the science. The data that we have collected are extensive and includes preclinical and clinical data. Uh, we have uh, worked over 10 years on collecting the data on human as well as animals and, and the laboratories. And uh, we have shown that the therapy is extremely effective all across the board in hematological cancer as well as solid tumors. You mentioned patents all over the world. Do you function just in the U.S. or globally as well? Uh, our intention is to make the therapy available all across the world. Uh, that's why we applied the patent uh, in um, any country that we could because we want to make sure that the therapy is available and patients have access uh, to the therapy. And so our aim is to make the therapy internationally and globally available. How long have you all been doing research in cancer? It's about eight years of uh, clinical research and preclinical research altogether. Uh, three years of that has been an intensive efforts for drug development. Are you operating independently or are you collaborating with other organizations for your research? Since the beginning, we had uh, worked very closely and collaboratively with many prestigious academic institutions um, in the state and beyond. And uh, since then, we had been successful in showing superior results with uh, collaboration with these institutions. Many of the principal investigators from these institutions are actively involved in soil oncology. Great. What is the status of Sahel with regulatory agencies such as the FDA? Uh, we have worked very collaboratively with government agencies, including FDA. Uh, I personally have worked with National Cancer Institute in best case series of cancer treatment. And uh, we have completed uh, three years of extensive reviews on the cases that I had treated with very positive feedback from National Cancer Institute as well as uh, working on uh, orphan drug designation that we just uh, received the approval this January. And that is for a very aggressive type of cancer called glioblastoma. Mm -hmm. uh, as we speak, we are also working on application of an uh, investigational new drug uh, through the FDA. And so far we have received uh, positive feedback and we look forward to continue our collaboration uh, in a fast track, hopefully, uh, pathway with the FDA. Fantastic. Who is making the business decisions at Sahel? Uh, we have uh, 12 board members. These are experts in scientific field as well as regulatory team. Uh, I've worked very closely with many of these MDs and PhDs as uh, well as legal team. And uh, every time they get together and they vote on different projects, uh, they do that very regularly. Is Sahel ready for a partnership? And if so, in what ways? Uh, it's about a year that Sahel has exposed itself to other partners. Uh, we are very pleased to have very productive meetings in the last uh, year or so with many uh, major players in the pharma. We met with uh, Boehringer Ingelheim BI in Germany just uh, last few months when I had a presentation at ASCO. We also have uh, met with Novocure in Israel and some other pharma that we actively are negotiating on future potential collaboration. How would you rate Sahel in comparison to other biotech companies in the oncology field? Very good question. As far as I know, we are ahead of the game for years at least to come because of the products that we have and the technology that we have patented uh, has been successful uh, not only in uh, preclinical studies but as well as human cases. Uh, also, our therapy is all across the board effective in solid tumors as well as hematological cancer. All other epigenetic products that are commercially available uh, have good results in hematological cancer, but they have failed mainly in the solid tumors. 
um, beyond that, our therapy is also non-toxic, so it uh, does not take away the quality of life from the patient. It actually improves the quality of life in patient. Uh, in a sense, uh, uh, we think that uh, our therapy is unique because other uh, pharmaceutical companies have uh, unfortunately failed to provide a treatment that works all across the board, specifically talking about the stem cells. Our therapy is able to target the stem cells and is very selective in uh, affecting the targets in epigenome. And uh, if you want to really scientifically talk about the, uh, the products and the technology that we have, it's as if you uh, would uh, think about bringing the best of both worlds, bringing the best as far as quality of life and bringing the best results as far as quantity of response. And our therapy does both. And um, talking about other companies that they have worked on the epigenetic uh, science field, they have put a lot of efforts to bring uh, together a therapy that is able to accomplish this. This is a great uh, goal. But unfortunately, they have failed when it comes to the phase three trials. Uh, none of these trials have shown that epigenetic drugs are as effective as our products are uh, when it comes to scientific merits. That sounds very promising. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for taking the time My to chat pleasure. with me.